then we'll put everybody else on mute. I can't mute the people in the hall. Um, that's the difference. And, um, yeah, I was, I was um, having a chat with uh, some of the people that I've spent the last two years at an online folk club with. And um, we were actually in real life because we were in we were at, we were at Triplo Daffodil Fest. Well, yeah. I don't think about that. Maybe we should wander around with a green rectangle around <laughs> us so we feel more comfortable. <laughs> with uh... <laughs> so anyway, we're just feel the ground under your feet, and we're we're going to look at silk reading today because um, silk reading is quite fun. Oh, that's good. So yeah, do do tell your friends about this class and get them to come over or make some <laughs> and get them to come over. And then I also got a few of these uh, bits of paper left. So Mike had some leftover bits of paper that's got all the classes. His classes are on the front, mine are on the back. Oh, and it says where and when they are. Uh, if anyone wants, we have three pieces of paper left, but don't feel, you know, it might, might be useful, let people know. And we're breathing, sink the hips, lengthen through the spine. So, I'm going to have to reschedule my Tuesday at horrible o'clock in the morning class, because nobody seems to go to it. <laughs> so I, uh, I might even make it earlier. So um, my teacher, Eva, she teaches a class at eight in the morning, mm -hmm. and because it's a Zoom class, I think I might, yeah. I might try it out. Soon. It might be better next year because the clock's still a bit. Yeah, I don't know. But it's still a silly time. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. My son has a driving lesson at seven this morning. Oh no. Well, it's probably safer to drive at seven. There's less yeah. cars in the road, isn't there? Yeah, okay. yeah. So, that, those of you on Zoom, there's a guy on the roof banging it for some reason. With a big hammer. He's fixing the felt. Oh, is that what it is? So, he's banging the felt now. <laughs> so, remember, when you hear a noise, check your posture. So we should all have excellent posture by the end of this part. So you want to turn your waist, turn the waist, you want to sink your hips, this goes back and down. We're tall through the body. And we're all breathing, aren't we? Very good. So make sure we breathe in and breathe out. So I've got the door open. If it gets too hot in here, I can always open the other door there. Um, so I get pretty far fire exit. Hopefully that won't set them off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll find that. There was one, one building I used to work in and they went, don't open that door, it'll set off the alarm. <laughs> so we're just sinking and lengthening our bodies. Um, Oh, lovely. And just tune into your spine. Right, can, can everybody on Zoom hear me? I'm getting a thumbs up. Brilliant! That makes a change, doesn't it? Fantastic. So, um, yeah, I've got another relatively less work week, but I'm back at the care home for next week. Oh, cool. And I stopped my first aid at work training. So, those of you that come on Thursdays and Fridays. So, Friday's off this week. No, this week's fine. Next week, the 31st, the 1st, and the 8th. Because I'll be, I'll be asking. A plastic dummy, if it's okay, calling an ambulance and that. That also. <laughs> yeah. Do I need to send an email of that? Tell, yeah. 
But everything else is as normal. And then there'll be a couple of days where I'm not in on the Monday. Because I'll be burning and learning about rehabilitation in Tai Chi. So how Tai Chi can be used for rehab, which is very good. I'm quite excited about that. Because obviously because of the pandemic, I've not really been able to do much face-to-face -face courses. It's all been pretty much online. You know, everything's online. So. Had a good thing for that trip there, you know, you get in. Oh, it was beautiful. It was very, very nice. Yeah. Lovely quiet and all that one. So nice and tall. Feel the your knees relaxed. And then just open the chest. Keep breathing. See, got a couple of notes. Yeah, yeah, we're doing silk reeling. Yeah, that's good. Um, so it's the thirty first, the first and eighth. I, I am a way. Thirty first. Oh, I better write what the date is. March. Oh gosh, March the 1st and 8th, April. Oh, now it's gone. Okay, so let's continue with some more loosening. So we'll just do bounce and shake, um, and then I've got some new exercises for the fingers that I learned yesterday with Eva. Very good, I really like them. So, if I learn something new, I always try and pass it on because it's quite fun. So, we're just, we're just doing our bounce, and you want to let go of the lower back. And then shake. So, focus on the shoulders, shake the shoulders. Shake and then the arms, and then think back your chest, and then the hips, and the legs, and then back to bounce. And then with bounce, what we're going to do, we're going to do a new one, what I did with Eva. We're going to transfer our weight while bouncing. So we're just having a bouncy. She calls it doodle and bounce at the same time. So you're having a doodle and you're, you're bouncing at the same time. And see if you can just, it's quite a good one. So you're just breathing in and out. And then, oh, let's do this. So we just down and up, down and up, down and up. So you just let your arms drop. Oh. Okay, have a little look. So we'll just stop for a minute. And I'll, I'll, uh, I just need to find something that's got gravity. Oh, that will do. Great. Yeah. So, gravity. It just goes down. Look, it just goes down. You just let it, you just let it. So that's what you're doing with your arms. So what you're doing with your arms is you, you just let the arms drop and then they'll fold up again in the middle. So let's just try that as a separate thing, fold up in the middle. And start from the top, just fold up in the middle. And as you fold up in the middle, you want to use the choke from the diagonal. You want to use your, your bounce in the, you want to use your bounce. So it goes down and up, down and up, down and up down and up, and you're keeping, you want to avoid any extra movements that you need, you know, you want to keep it. <clears throat> economy of motion. You want, to, you want to look at the economy of motion, so you're just allowing gravity to do its thing and allowing the arms to fall down and fall up. There you go. 
and then relax more, really relax. That's it, very nice. Okay, now what we do, we turn the palms up. Turn the palms up. Turn the palms. Okay, that's it. So in front of the body. And you wanna, wanna feel a gentle stretch across the chest. <coughs> Okay, four more, four, three, two, and one, and then shake. Yeah. Relax the jaw. So one in front, one behind, 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 one in front, one behind. There we go. And it, it's in the full. It's in the drop in. Think about the drop. So it drops in front and drops behind. It drops in front and drops behind. Drops in front and drops behind. That's it. So, yeah, I spent. I ended up having a kind of private class with Corel yesterday. He kind of exploded my brain a bit. I had to point out that we'd actually finished the class seven minutes ago. And I had to go to another class. But he was really good. So what's happening is, if you just, if you just look a sec, look at what I'm doing, that's going there, that's going there. So it's just, it's falling behind. So what you do, the first, the front arm's actually easy to do, because it just falls against the side of the body and then falls up. That actually feels quite natural. When I did this with Master Chun, this bit feels a little bit more artificial. Because I've, I've not been doing this exercise for 35 years. He, uh, Master Chung, reckoned that it took him 35 years to understand this first, this movement. So, you know, so we just have to muddle through if it's less than 35 years. <laughs> So you've got to be aware of what you're doing when you're doing it. And also you can look at it slow, you can do it slow motion. So if we do a slow mo one, so we start here, we just it's a little bit artificial when you do it in slow motion, but it can make a bit more sense. You transfer your weight. Now as you turn your waist, one hand goes in the front, one hand goes along the back. It's nice for that, so you come up, back to further away, one hand goes across the front, one hand goes across the back. That's it. Come up, and down, and do it in slow motion, and then you're practicing looking with your sleepy tiger eyes. So, yeah, the cats in our neighborhood have all decided that they now like each other. So they're now visiting each other in each other's houses. And there's just cats in there, really annoying them. But you want to use your sleepy tiger eyes and you're looking. And I think they've decided that the humans have obviously not eaten enough mice as well. So <laughs> it's like, oh great, there's another mouse. So I'm getting a bit of it. There we go. 
There we go. That's much better. So it comes up. And you want to feel that you're touching your, you want to actually touch your body gently when you're doing this. So you're not whacking yourself, you're just gently feeling. And, that, that, and then we go a little bit quicker. Go a bit quicker. That's brilliant. There we go. And that, that's the first of the loosening exercises. Yeah, every now and then it does pay to try it, try it out a bit. Okay, four, three, two, and one. Marvellous. Very nice. Okay, right, well, now we. Oh, sweat, drop, this. Oh. Lose my two funny voices in there. Frank's happening at toilets. So we just like this. Keep breathing some more. And just marvelous. Okay. Four, three, two, and one, and then we go like this. So we turn the waist, we just let the arms swing back and swing forwards. So, um, yeah, um, Carell was also talking about Master Do in Beijing, Master Du, who was this amazing Chen style Tai Chi master. And uh, he was talking about the fascia, uh, Crow was talking about the fascia and the Maya fascial stuff. And that apparently there's been some research, I'm going to have to look into it, but um, there's a link between your immune system and your fascial network surrounding the muscles. Do look it up. Because I, I tried to find, I did some research last night, but the papers were a little bit too sciencey <laughs> for me to understand it. But apparently there is a link. So Chen style with silk breathing, because of what we're doing, it does work your fascia. You're working, you're directly working with the fascia, especially the way Corel teaches it, which seems like a good thing. So as well as working your um, your bone density, your cognition, um, might even be working your immunity as well. But I'd need to do more research to actually understand how that actually works, rather than you know just take people's word for it. If someone comes out and says something like that, go do some research. Very sensible. And then we do this. I think there is strong correlation between how healthy you keep yourself and how you fight things. Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. There must have been studies on that. Anyway. Yeah, they, they're doing studies right now in Tai Chi in Cambridge, actually, because Mike from his whole show is involved in the study of Tai Chi and health and stuff. But, um, but I mean, the, the thing is, though, Tai Chi works over years and the study they want to do it over 12 weeks mm. so well you can do a lot though you can do a lot even like in a, even in your first lesson you'll feel better so okay shake out mm. right let's do the brand new <laughs> brand new finger things from, um, from ever i'm going to come a bit closer not that close um but i'll just see Ah, okay, osteopathy. Okay. So osteo osteopath books, they've got about the link between the self-healing and fascia. That's really interesting. I'll check it out. Thanks for that. Because they books on osteopathy tend to be a bit more comprehensible than the latest research paper, I have to admit. They sort of write things in accessible language. Plain English paragraph yeah yeah so it's like they, they they often use a lot of these sort of buzzwords and things and they don't know what they're talking about but i, I will try and look and, and 
have a look at it because it sounded really, because Carell, he's a bit of a bookworm and he researches on biomechanics, he pesters this poor professor in, I think, the Czech Republic because he's Czech, um, with questions on biomechanics and how does it work, he's got really, really good sense. It's all good stuff, so it's all good stuff. I just follow him and then, you know, if I ask him a question it will probably melt my brain. But I will go and do some research because I thought that is really interesting. Really interesting. So fingers, we're just going to start like this. So Eva does a lot of things on balance and coordination. She's really into balance and coordination. You just shake the hands, shake the hands, shake the whole body. And then what, what she did, she just went like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This would be very good if you, if you play the piano. Go like that. And then she went one, four, two, uh, one. That's it. You can just make up these little, and then you can go like that, and then the middle ones. It's like, you know, to keep you, you might be in the post office queue. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, and then, and then you shake out, and then she did, hang on, let me think. Ah, so, oh yeah, we did those. Which I just thought was brilliant. So you go up and down, and then you can just make these sorts of things. Do your Liberace, you know. That looks nice. It looks very nice, and you just, and it's, it's, it's doing stuff to the brain, because you're doing all this wiggly stuff, and you're moving, you're moving the, the arms around. Rick Williams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Hey. Microphone out. Right, right. And then there was that one. And then we did funny hand shapes. So you've got fist, open, eagle claw, monkey paw. So she sort of did it like that. And fist, open, eagle claw, monkey paw. Great, isn't it? <laughs> I, just, I guess it's a bit like paper, scissors, stone, isn't it? You know, you could maybe turn it into paper, scissors, stone, so monkey paw destroys something, I don't know. Anyway, fist, open, eagle claw, I like the eagle claw, it's got something rare. Monkey paw, fist, open, eagle claw, monkey paw. And then once more with feeling, fist, Open, eagle claw, monkey paw. So that will just get your brain. I can feel my brain's doing my brain doing things when I'm when I'm doing that. Very good. So that was brand new. Um, and then oh, another brand new one from Corel, which I really like, is you open your arms like this, and then you you make an aeroplane. <laughs> so you stretch, and then you stretch. Oh, isn't that wonderful? And they, they did this with, um, so you've got an aeroplane one. What are you doing with your breath? You're breathing. Because if you stop breathing, you might fall over. So keep breathing. And that's a, that's a good one. Okay, so that was brand new from yesterday. Um, and then they, they spoke about um, these sort of shaking exercises. So, Master Master Dow, he used to do a lot of these sort of boom, boom, and he'd just do that, and then sort of do all that kind of stuff, and and, and shake, and then he'd do lots of slaps. And he, he was great. He was great fun, apparently. But they, he didn't know any Czech or English, and they had new minimal Chinese, <laughs> so they communicated using kind of miming and grunts and then because they hung out with each other for so many weeks even though they couldn't speak each other's language they could still understand each other really well it was very interesting they, they just hung out and um, but he knew all these so all these sorts of things that work that stretch the fascia it's, it's supposed to be very good uh, this kind of stuff a bit like you did with your monkey square yeah, 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 we'll do that. We can do that now if you want. We'll do a slow version. 
That's exactly what we were doing. Yeah, we were stretching. I'd never really thought about it because obviously I only saw them on yesterday, on Tuesday. And it's basically every time I go and learn with Carell, he kind of melts my brain a bit. And then I go, oh God, I've got, you know, because he does, he's, he's reading all the time when he's, you know, uh, Emma does more practice and she's very good at explaining things because he can just do it naturally. He's been doing it so long. He just does it all naturally, and then he'll go and read something, phone up the professor and ask them something. And that's kind of what he's doing all the time. So um, this is Barry's modified um, exercise, and it, it starts like this. So you go open a bit, then you open a bit more, and then you just let the arms drop, and then you just do that one, two. Three, four, but you can work your fashion doing these big movements, but also very small movements. Six, seven, and eight. <sighs> Great. Um, right, the next one is you do a little turn. So imagine you've got a stick in each hand, like you were Morris. You missed the Morris bit there, they had hankies actually, it's really annoying. I prefer the sticks, but they don't know how to use sticks, these Morris people. You won't hit anyone like that. What's that all about? You want to boom, whack them. You know, that's how you use a stick. You don't just, you don't just wave a hanky. That's not going to, that's not going to do nothing. Anyway, so I'll stop slagging off Morris people. Um, yeah. And we turn, so we turn, we turn a bit more, so that gets you back a nice stretch, and then you just do this like you're in a bit of a, oh no, not more Morris men, I was thinking of trip back. And then you turn, oh, I turn a bit, actually there was only one lot. Normally there's like five or six, I mean they've all got the, that COVID stuff, it doesn't necessarily, <laughs> and then we turn, turn a bit more, and then back, and show from the turn, Use your sleepy tiger eyes. I've lost count, so we'll just do a few more. And one, two, three, and four. Oh. Great. Okay, uh, the next one, what he does is he goes a big one and then a little one. So it's a bit like if you drop a stone in a pond, you get a big ripple and then as it gets further on, you get a smaller ripple at the end. So it's two. Show from the side. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, fantastic. Lovely. Okay, next. So you turn and you raise the heel and you're nice and tall. Imagine you're the most elegant, beautiful being ever made. There we are. Then we have a square shape. And that back stretches the chest a bit, then you come back and then you stretch all the way up. And then you do two bounces. One, two. I'm keeping my legs bent on this. He, he had straight legs, but no. One, two. Beautiful, everybody. One, two. And we'll do it again. One, two. One. So it works your brain, you see. Two. <laughs> One. Two. Nice. One. Two. And again. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. One, two, one, two, one, two.
two, one, two logs, one, one, two, one, two. Fantastic. <sighs> okay, let's, uh, how are we doing? Oh, gosh. Uh, let's pause for a very quick water break and then we're, we're going to have a look. We're going to whiz through the silk reading of the syllabus. Yes. Are the silks just glorified Morris Dancer's handkerchiefs? It could be glorified Morris, Morris Dancer's handkerchiefs, yeah. I don't, well, I don't know. <coughs> I guess the closest they've got to Morris Dancing in, in China is a bit more sophisticated, is your Chinese opera, which is actually a lot more. It's brilliant. And the and the and the, yeah. bang, the I love it. It's brilliant. I mean, one of my uh, my friend John Borwell, he actually went to China to study Chinese opera because he does like the martial arts, the level of martial arts alone, let alone the singing and the music playing, it's phenomenal. They're just amazing. So uh, you know, but it's it's. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the training schedule, he was there from really early in the morning, training all day and learning all this stuff. It was just shocking, but he's a very, very good martial artist. Um, yeah, so your basic, um, let's just, yeah, let's just practice this one. Just a good cap stance, step, heel toe, transfer the weight, cap stance. Transfer the weight. Step, transfer the weight. So you want to keep your hips level. Keep your head floating. Float through the head, sink the hips. So it's quite interesting. I was I was asking Mike about what the hips is it's like you're sitting on the chair. He goes, no, 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 it's like you're perching on the stool. And now He's now using the word sit. He's going, now sit into this posture. And I'm like, <laughs> so there you go. What can you do? So uh, now what we'll do is we lift up. Heel toe, keep the weight there. Then you transfer. Cat stance. Up. Sink. Down. Transfer. Beautiful. And this is very, very good for developing your balance. And then what we do, we're going to hold it for five. One, two, three, or not. For five. And then you put the foot down. And then nice and tall. So when you're doing something difficult, relax even more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then once more, each side. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, Right, so the development of that is whatever got us do, whatever got us doing is she got us holding it for 30 seconds. And then for even more fun, we tried it with our eyes shut. She goes, now close your eyes, and we were like, Bleh. it was really, really good. But it's very interesting. Try it out, try try a little mini one with your eyes shut and see what happens. It's just it's amazing, isn't it? And then and then try the other side, just for fun. So we know how to have fun, mm -hmm. don't we? So it's quite, it's quite interesting. So if you get a better balance, that's good. <laughs> it's good to have a good balance. But it, it means it's harder for you, or, or if you trip or something, um, like my mum, she slid, she, uh, the caretaker didn't put the wet floor sign on, and then she, she slid. And, um, but you can get your balance back. You can get your balance back. Okay, so silk reading. So have a slightly wider stance. We'll just start with the first silk reading. 
So you can have your hand on your waist, you can have your hand on your upper thigh to watch the opening and closing of the hip, or you can have your hand just hanging and relaxed. I'll probably, I'll put mine there for now. And then you have your left hand out, now put the weight on your left foot. So you feel that stretch, now you turn, this comes down. Now you transfer the weight, scoop underneath, and then as you go this side, you should feel a stretch from here to here. So see if you can feel that stretch. Then you keep, maintain the stretch, and then what you do is you use the stretch to pull your arm across. And down. Underneath. Feel that stretch. So you want your knee pointing where the toes point as well. So it can be quite tempting to bring your collapse your knee in. So you want to resist that temptation, have the knee sticking out, and then you come round. So we're just going to do the first silk breathing a few times, and then we're going to go to open close because there's open close in it, and you want to notice what you are sensing. Transfer the weight. Transfer the weight. Turn the weight. Again, watch the alignment of both knees. Must take a long time to get felt on the knees then. Okay, swap round. So place your hands there, there, or there, and relax. Cross. Yeah. I can't pop round today. I've got a meeting at the church, St. Philip's Church. I've got to get there for two o'clock because that's where our first aid course is. And uh, I will pop round. I will, yeah. I'll message you my phone number and we'll sort something out. I think that would be easier. We just have to, yeah. Now we couldn't make you, I was going to meet up with her on Friday, but we, that can't happen, so we're having to meet up today. But she needs to show me how to set the code and how to open the door and that, so that's quite important. <laughs> Make a round shape in your arm, so your arms are round, so you want to curve in the arm, that curve, that's it. Just keep that curve, now turn, so you yeah, want to think about the elbow dropping, elbow dropping, and then you come. Transfer the weight, go down, that's it. Okay, let's leave that for a bit and we're going to do open close because in Chen style, which is what this class is, it's a Chen style class um, with a bit of each one thrown in, all sorts. So Chen style is the oldest Tai Chi style according to the Chen stylists. <laughs> so um, I think it is, so there are a lot of them um, they reckon it's at least 300 odd years old, maybe even older. It's probably more like 350, 400 years old now, because it was probably about 20 years ago when I was told it was 300 years old. So, you know. Um, but it's, and, and it's, um, yeah, yeah, very good. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to do open and close. So, just start here. So, just breathe in, wrists open, fingers closed. Wrist closed, fingers closed. Breathe in, wrist open, fingers follow. Wrist closed, fingers closed. Oh, that's burnt it lovely, isn't it? That's a good thing, so it's like that. Elbows, 
wrists, fingers open. Elbows, wrists, fingers closed. So notice your feet. So you should feel things in your fingers because of all those hand exercises we did. So it's like this, elbows, wrists, fingers open, elbows, wrists, fingers open. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay, now shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers open. Marvellous. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers, toes. Show that from the diagonal. So my arms are in the front of the body again. Notice what you are noticing. Notice what you're sensing. So there's a lot of birds around this here wall, and they're all singing. We've got some jackdaws, we've got some sparrows, chest, shoulders, there was a blackbird earlier but it seemed to have gone. So now the chest open, shoulders open, elbows, wrists, fingers, chest, shoulders, elbows, wrists. Okay, and then slightly come forward as you open, back into your balance point as you close. So just behind the ball of each foot, and then I just go towards the toes. I dig the toes in, so that's what I think corrals it to. Dig the toes in as you go forward. So you kind of push down with your toes, and then sink down to show you that. So feel that opening and closing, notice what's happening in your body, notice what you're sensing, so you've got lots of sound, now go all the way up to shoulder height, and then come down. All the way up to shoulder height, and back, and again you keep your arms in front, keep your arms in front, feel that stretch, beautiful, and then you come back down. We didn't have them last week, did we? Did we? No, so they must be coming this week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then come all the way up to head height. Open. Close. Open. Uh, no, that's a collar dog, isn't it? Collar dog? Yeah. I think so. Do the pigeons go do 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 That's how they're doing it, don't they? No. <sighs> so, who are these friends? <laughs> anyway, so you do, you do uh, one more. Quite good, it's like if I'm listening to the radio or watching telly, I end up bird spotting when I'm there, going, Oh, that's a such and such. Oh, look, there's a bit more. It's really, really exciting. See, I know how to have fun, that's the fun thing. Okay, now you go down. So the open and close is actually from each one, so from each one. Okay, now with that open and close, let's go, let's do let's do silk reading again and see if you can feel the opening and the closing. So you close here and you open there. So just notice. Open, 
and then just for fun, try it a bit quicker. Six, seven, and eight, and then back slowly. Oh, got a bit wet. <laughs> so it can sometimes help. It can sometimes help trying different speeds. Okay, now try the other side. And then what we'll do is we'll do a bit of, uh, as we're, oh gosh, yeah. So feel the, feel the back opening and closing. So feel the back sort of stretch open and then. Once more. Marvellous. Okay. Silk freely number two goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two. Oh, I do it no faster than this at the moment. Three, four. One, two, three. So what's happening is you drop your elbow on one so the hand comes up, then you transfer your weight, then you turn your weight, then you transfer your weight. So you sink the elbow, transfer the weight, turn the weight, transfer the weight, sink the elbow, transfer the weight, turn the weight, transfer the weight, sink the elbow, transfer the weight, turn the weight. Transfer the weight. Keep breathing. Fantastic. Very good. Okay, now we do it on the other side. So we sink the elbow, open the palm of the hand, transfer the weight, turn, transfer. Well, I can come next week, but I'll have to leave. I'll have to leave by about two. But we'll pop round and yeah. So we just oh, that's lovely. That's really nice. Okay, then for fun, we we add both hands together. Just just for fun. So you want to have light, soft arms. Light soft arms, and you're feeling the work tapping in in the neck. So you want to sink the hips, and we're all breathing, we're all relaxed. That's fantastic. And then try it the other direction. So we'll just do that. Right, and then I'll bet I'll add a new one in. So I think I can do it from yesterday. And let's have a little shake out. How are we doing? Oh, we've got 10 minutes. Okay, we'll do the new one and then we'll just look at why take off the screw, which again isn't Chen style, it's from each one, but it's quite useful for when we actually do get round to doing the Chen form. Um, so, we're, we're learning the first 15 moves of the chain form, so that's that's quite useful. Um, just see what's moving down. Yeah. Okay, so, let's have a look at, let's go like this, so we go forward, go like that. One, like that, then you come back, and then you do that. And then you go forward, forward. So this is from yesterday. One, you bring the hands in. Two, you bring them a little bit higher up. One, bring them in. Two, 
Two. So it's a sort of lower and it comes in again and then comes out a bit more. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. Fantastic. Okay. Right. Next. Uh, 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 yeah. Let's try this one. One. Two. One, two, one, it's good isn't it? <laughs> so this is really good for your cognition, yeah that's it, so we go like this, we go like that, then come back along the same line and then do a little round thing and then you come back. So the weight, transfer your weight. Transfer your weight, 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 transfer your weight. Transfer your weight. Yeah. So it starts with holding the ball. So you start holding the ball. Now stretch. One goes down, one goes up. Now bring that one back. Bring the other one close to it. And then you go whoosh. Hold the ball. That's it. So go, go to this side. That's it. Now you stretch the other side. One. Two. So this all works your brain. Three. And working the brain is really, really good because it has positive effects on your balance and also the turning works your back. If you show that from the back, three. We go one, two, three. We're doing different things with both hands, so we're working both sides of the brain, even if you're doing the variation. You see, so it's fine. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. We'll add that to our rope top. Right. Next. For fun. So that that was. I think he calls it middle winding. He calls it middle winding, and it's a really nice sort of really to do. Because it it does lots of things. It does lots of things. So, right, my tape off the screen, so you hold the ball, you step, I'll just show you, and then we'll, what we'll do is we'll go for a nice walk. How to walk to the shops. Transfer the weight, transfer the weight. So the silk reading type movements is, are very useful in the chen form, but also white, um, white tape off the screen, just being able to move,
think come round the back. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we're going for a nice walk. Add to walk to the shop. So here we go. We step. We transfer the weight. Part of the world's pushes is weight. Nice big. Uh, open finish. Open. Close. This hand comes over. Sink back. Sink forward. And then cat stop. Step. So yeah, if a move isn't working, it's perfectly okay to do something different. It's okay. So, but the fundamental movement in Chen style is silk reading. And it's very, very useful. For things like they do a lot more in Chen style. It's a lot more robust, so they do a lot of the uh, grappling and throwing people around, and mainly in Chen village and applications and stuff. So. Pretty much the entire form is silk reading. How are we doing? How's our walk going? I'll just keep going. This is great. And sit back, turn, that's it. And then one more. One, two, three, four. Okay, great. Well, yeah, come, come around in the circle for just a minute. So I'll just demonstrate the first 15 moves of Chen Four. So the um, it's basically this silk sort of reading movement and this silk sort of reading movement and then variations thereof. All the other silk sort of reading movements are built up on those two. So when you do something like three circles or um, pushing away the mountain, that's what it is. It's built up on those two, and then the one I can't quite do yet is that. That one I can't quite do yet. It's all based on that one and that one. It's it's really exciting. So here we go. Just have a look. So this is what we're doing. This is what we're the first part of the chen form. And as you can see, it's basically silk reading all the time. Silk reading all the time. So it just I'll just truncate it. So we do three more steps, but the choir's just about to arrive. But that's what that's the first section. First section of the Chen style. I mean obviously for martial applications you'd have to modify it a lot. So a lot of the movements are things like throws, uh, arm locks, strikes, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but again, I'd have to ask Ollie, 
can say, hey, what would you use this for? And then you go, oh, you could use it for this, but actually you're not using this one, but that's just gone in. So we just turn. But it's like, yeah, it's kind of like your skulls and your arpeggios and your dominant sense and things, that kind of stuff. It's like your building blocks. And you can just play the pieces, but they'll sound better if you do, or they can sound better if you do basic exercises and then put it together. It's that kind of thing. Um, So there's some standing exercises, which we will do at some point, but I'm going to get people moving a bit first. Oh, okay, here we go. Just breathe in. Breathe out. Calm the mind, regulate the breathing, calm the body. We change to embrace the tide, return to the mountain. Yeah, but that form actually goes on for about half an hour because there's a fast form as well as the slow form. So the fast and slow form together takes about half an hour. But we'll, we'll just slowly, slowly work our way through the whole thing. It's quite nice doing the sequence, it's actually quite nice, it's a bit like learning a, a tune or something. And we're down. And then we rub the hands together. And polishing the face. Rub the hands together again. And then rub the rubber back. Check your posture. So really feel that you're owning your space. See? hips, lengthen through the spine, relax the around the jaw, relax the shoulders, take a few slow deep breaths. And then Rotate the tiger, return to the mountain. Just do two more. Actually, we'll do a third. We'll do a third. It's better with three, not one. Yeah, Karan does two of something, and Ed always does three. And I'm further away, Ed does it, so I'm doing three. And then, that's it. Fantastic. Make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top, bring your feet together, and bam. Brilliant. Well done. Fantastic. Good job. Good job. Great. Okay.